got, so Dad can get him. She's left the building. I'll save this for posterity. <laughs> yeah, don't ever cuddle you, do I? No. <laughs> it's all right, it's all getting cut anyway, so okay. you're okay. Hello, Hello. You. Hello. Mummy can hold that. Mummy sit. can hold that. Sit, sit, sit. You no, come to? Don't sit, no, sit, no. sit. No. Right. Come on then. Here we go. Good morning. Good morning, I'm Sue. I'm Mark. And together we are Nuts, Nuts on, on Tour. Tour. This is going to be a quick one. We were away last week. We're not going away this week. But uh, we thought we'd show you the portable fridge freezer that we got. Because we're planning on going off grid a little bit more. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're planning on going off grid a little bit more, the Dometic freezer, the full size one, the fridge freezer that's in the bus, uh, shall we say it gobbles power. It eats gas when yeah. you're away, doesn't it? Yeah. If you plug it into the electric, even the big Eco Flow Power Station. Eco Flow Pro there Power you go. Station. Yeah, I one believe. of them. Yes. Even that would only last about 10 hours not really enough no all right so you can put it on gas but then of course yeah and it means you're going in and out every couple of days looking for gas so uh, we decided it would be uh, a fridge cupboard <laughs> when not in use when not in use it still keeps things cooler because it's a big insulated cupboard but uh, we've got a portable fridge freezer that runs off 12 volt so literally plug that in. We've just been away and done some tests with it. Brilliant. We were away for six days, not plugged in at all. Fridge and freezer running all the time. This is the video of the unpacking and testing. Of said. Of said machiney. Uh, it came from... 4x4 four four Direct in Derby. 4x4 four four Direct. Thank you, John from John and Mandy. Yes. He was the one who pointed us in that direction. Well, so he pointed in the direction of 4x4 four four Direct because they do the Dometic ones as well that yes. you see. Um, the which, thing... they're identical to be perfectly honest, just that the lids open in different directions. <laughs> the thing I like about this one is you can control each section individually. You can have just a fridge and a freezer or all fridge or all freezer. freezer which I think is rather good. So if you're just going out for a weekend and you just want a couple of bits and pieces to throw in there, fine. If you're going for a bit longer, you can throw freezer stuff in one side and fridge stuff in the other. If you're going for a decent length of time, turn it all into a freezer and uh, pull stuff out as you need, which is good. Yeah, well, I mean, we did, we did test it again last year, didn't we? We did a couple of away tests last year, but this is the first time we've taken it for a, a week, grid. a week, and been off grid totally, just yeah. relying on the uh, on the solar. We got three good days of solar, which uh, surprised us a bit. It rained a couple of days, but considering it was completely overcast, grey. Considering it's March, you know, yeah, yeah. the two hundred and twenty watt panel charged everything back up, and we uh, yeah yeah. Didn't, yeah, I didn't mean, plug in at all. You know, talking about the eco flow, I mean, we actually charged the bus up on that, didn't we? Yeah, we used that to charge the bus up. You know, which actually worked a treat. Yeah. You know, it's as good as being plugged into shore power. <laughs> it is. If not, better because you're not faffing about, are you? You just plug it in. <laughs> We're all set up in the bus so we can do that. Yeah. We've got a cable I run and I can show you that on a. Another, a later vid. Another vid. Yes. How to plug in the, your The um, gnawing sound in the background is Drax, if you should be able to hear it. Drax has now got a Nile of bone and he's... Uh, he's, he's had it some time, but all of a sudden... He's, he's, he's harried it and carried it and, and wandered around with it for uh, about three months. No, three or Since six. Christmas, at yeah. least. Yeah, at least. And now we've but decided... he's now decided it's his new favourite toy. The, the only thing is typical of these two 
There is another one in the house somewhere which they've been working on, but the fact is they have to have the same yeah. one. If you, you're on that one. You can have two identical. If you're on that one, I want that one. If you're on the other one, I want the other one. Yeah. So, so she's sulking now. No doubt when he does leave it alone, she'll be in there like a grease weasel. <laughs> to pinch she it. She will. She will. On with the vid. Enjoy. So, this one is actually a review. It's not a paid for promotion. This is something we've bought. For the bus, we wanted a, an extra fridge freezer. So when we went away and went off grid, we had more freezer capacity. So we'll get this one out and you can have a look. So already ripped that bit off. Grr. We went and picked this one up the other week. And this has been the first chance I've had to actually get it out of the box. I may need help here from my beautiful assistant, but we'll have a go, see what we can do. Hup. Oh no, that's it. Ah. So, there we are. Has a panel on the front with the... Take that off. The up and down and the temperatures. In the bottom you have a big section and a little section. Little section hasn't got a drain hole in it. The big section has got a drain hole in the bottom. And then on the lid you have what I presume is a little chopping board. I'm put that back in there and yeah, a little chopping board. And then you have a bag of goodies, which has got this one plugs in to your normal 240 volt supply. So we don't need that today because what I'm going to try today is that's the same connector. And we're going to plug that into the bottom of here like so. And then plug that into our battery pack. This one, I believe, yeah, that's where you plug a battery. You can have it so it's externally powered. So that one's where you plug the battery in. Haven't got a battery for this one yet. That's something we might look at later on. So let's, this is our backpack. Again, this is something that we like. We've had this for, oh my goodness, a fair few years now. This is a Bluette. We got this when these first came out, before people had heard of these posh ones that they have now. So, turn it on. Turn DC power on. It's fully charged. And plug that one in. There we go, that's that plugged in. And then on the front here, oh, it's got little lights, oh, that's nice. Didn't notice them. It's got little lights on it. I presume they go out when the, yeah, they go out when the lid shuts. So at the moment, it's saying that one side, the big side is at seven degrees and the little side is at eight degrees. So I need to tap on that and take it down and that's set to minus 10 and then change the other one and the other one's set to minus 10. It's saying it's running on 13.3 volts which is what the backpack's putting out. So it's now cooling down. The temperature in the conservatory, believe it or not, is 32 degrees. That's according to the thermometer 32 degrees so it's simulating for me it's simulating being somewhere nice and hot and trying to get it down time is now 20 past 12 and we'll see how long it takes to take it down that's pulling 35 watts that's actually pulling 35 watts of power out the backpack at the moment.
So, we will be back shortly and let you know how it's doing. Good morning. The compressor freezer has now been running overnight, 24 hours. It's now half past 12 the following morning. So it's been running 24 hours and I thought I'd just show you how it was doing. There we are. As it's a compressor, I think you can see that it's now switched off. The battery pack is now at four bars. So it's gone down one bar overnight. It's now been running 24 hours. Not sure if the camera will pick up on that. But one side is now at minus 9 and the other side is at minus 11. So perfectly good for a, a freeze. So now we can go and fill it all up. So all being well, you'll have watched that now. Uh, little informative, like I said in the vid. Uh, I can't see the point of running the fridge on 240 volt where it has to go out the power pipe up through a transformer and back down it, it seems very energy wasteful to me that so running it on 12 volt is a lot more efficient from what i can see pulling it out of the uh, eco floor it comes out at 12 volt it goes in at 12 volt it doesn't get transformed up and down if anybody else has got any other suggestions in against that why it's not efficient or whatever leave them in the comments below we'll have a look i'd love to find out i'm not an electrician in any way shape or form i just about managed to wire a three pin plug oh give over you're not that stupid <laughs> all right i can't manage a three pin plug. <laughs> you can manage a three pin plug and money much more so okay. uh thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet why not it's free you get inv you get uh, notified when we put up new videos as like this. As long as you click the bell. Click the bell, <laughs> ring the thing, do the yes, all that good stuff. Yes. Just over five hundred now, so we crawling our way along, mm -hmm. kicking and screaming. Yeah, yeah, we're creeping, creeping along. But hey ho. So until the next one, bye for now. Bye.